Wow. So here's the deal. Your boy Milan Christopher from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 2 said something so offensive <laughs> to some people that they're trying to call him out. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to give my opinion after I read to you exactly what was said, but let's put this into context here. People were saying all types of crazy stuff to this guy on the internet, so he has to defend himself, right? So I'm going to read to you what this first person said. They said, and I quote, It's really shameful to the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual community because they have a platform to change people's perception of us, but they're throwing it away by playing games with people. It's already hard to be open about your sexuality and then playing games for the world to see will definitely impact everyone. Straight people already halfway don't take us seriously. I was there. I'm so confused. You and Miles aren't together. But I didn't get that vibe on the set of Wendy Williams. It's so confusing. It makes me begin to wonder, was anything real on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood? I mean, are y'all playing us or what? Let us know. To which Milan Christopher replied by saying, Bitch, if you don't get the fuck off my page, fang it. Now, for the record, I don't know what type of dealings that these guys may have had beforehand to make him say that, but Milan Christopher is an openly homosexual male. So him saying the F-bomb is, you know, it's at least from my standpoint, is not as bad as some straight person just calling somebody that word. This is a gay man speaking to a man who I would think is gay, bisexual, transsexual, whatever, because he said us. So, <laughs> you know, he said that straight people already halfway don't take us seriously. So he's speaking from the viewpoint of somebody who's a fellow homosexual or whatever. But people have been really, really messing with Milan Christopher. And the reason why I know this is because he flat out said, you know, that people were, were essentially harassing him over his sexuality so this is him basically defending himself after having to deal with the bs of being a celebrity and people messing with you so this is not just like he flew off of the handle or whatever anyway he went on to post this message on instagram he said and i quote please don't let my niceness fool you gay or straight tread lightly on my page because you will be read then blocked for being disrespectful hashtag keep that shit moving i'm too good of a guy for the bullshit day in and day out peace so he capped off that meme by saying and i quote no one cares i'm gay no one cares that you're close-minded and you think i'm going to hell for being true to myself no one cares if you think i can't break up with my man and be back together with him whenever i feel like it <laughs> no one cares Make your point, be respectful and keep it moving or prepare to get cussed the fuck out and be blocked. Hashtag that is all. Wow. So after this, here's where the backlash came in for his previous statement where he called the guy the F word. <laughs> okay, so some guy wanted answers. You know, he wanted to know why is Milan Christopher an openly gay man using such a derogatory term towards homosexuals so the man said and i quote when you post shit on your page expect your fans to comment on it whether it's positive or negative the way you respond to the fans plays a big part in your career at milan christopher as an upcoming gay artist for you to call a fan a faggot is way out of character and disrespectful to the lgbt community hopefully it don't affect your career you got to be better in how you respond to your fans. To which Malak, Malak Christopher replied to this guy by saying, No ho, I don't expect shit. You be disrespectful, you will get disrespected. Fuck your thought. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he does not give a fuck. Now here's the deal. Here's my opinion in all of this. Now I totally agree with Milan. As much as I hate the word, the F word with that rhymes with maggot. Milan using it honestly didn't bother me in this context. I mean, it was a gay dude using the word to snap back at someone who clearly pissed him off. You know, he's a TV star and, and a musician and model who was constantly harassed on this thing here we call the internet by a shitload of haters. 
Now, I'm 100% with him on this one because he had to say something. I mean, you know, some may say he, you know, he took it there or he went too far or whatever, but all I know is this. I'm tired of seeing him have to explain himself to everybody. Now, do I personally ride the gay train? No, but I refuse to harass gay people because I personally don't agree with them or understand it. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm happy to see that he defended himself. You know, in all honesty, he shouldn't have to, though. People need to let him live and enjoy his life. Mind your fucking business. You might say, well, he came on my TV. Not literally, figuratively. He came. Let me use a different word. He went on a TV show (laughs) and he openly expressed his, you know, his personal business to the world. So I have the right to my opinion. That's what some of you may be saying. And yeah, that's that may be true. You do have the right to have an opinion. You do have freedom of speech. But just remember this. There are laws against harassment. And from what I'm hearing, people were basically going to his Instagram page, for example, maybe other places on social media and talking shit. Instead of just saying, hey, I don't agree with what you do, but I'll keep my comments to myself. I got too much shit to be doing. You know what I mean? I got my own life to worry about my own life to live. These mofos are running around tracking him down on social media so they they can give him a piece of their mind and what they think. Oh, you're going to hell and all this. How the fuck do you know he's going? Maybe you're going to hell for wishing him to hell. How about that? You know, I mean, I personally don't believe in hell. I think hell is fake and made up. I don't believe in heaven either. What I mean is an afterlife. When you die, in my opinion, you become worm food. I don't believe in any of that fuddy duddy bullshit. But I will say this, though, you can live in hell on Earth and people who are looking for people to go harass on the Internet are already in hell. You're burning in your own personal iniquity because I don't believe in homosexuality at all. I wish everybody was straight to tell you the truth. My personal opinion living in a perfect world. But guess what? It's not a perfect world. It's a world where children die every single day. Where somebody you know and love may develop cancer. Rather, get cancer. Whatever. And (laughs) it's a screwy world. So this whole, this person being gay is going to burn in hell. How do you know that, for example, you might be in a relationship with somebody who's violent. Who runs around beating up people. That's a, a sin too. It's called wrath. You know, they go around assaulting people. Maybe they're going to your imaginary hell place for all you people who believe in hell. Maybe the person, you know, who drinks all of the time, who goes to the club to go get drunk. Maybe that drunk is going to hell. You know, maybe you're going to hell because you had sex outside of wedlock. Because fornication is a sin in your Bible. And the word fornication appears, I think it's two or three hundred damn times. It must be a pretty bad sin, according to your little religion, if it keeps mentioning it over and over again. But, you know, Christians are often hypocrites. No offense to Milan Christopher, because if I'm not mistaken, he is an actual professing Christian. So no offense to him and his beliefs, personal, his personal beliefs. But generally speaking, most Christians are full of shit. They don't give a damn about the Bible until it's convenient for them. And then they throw it up in somebody's face. All it is is a weapon. It's a tool for them to use to get from point A to point B. And I don't mean a compass to help them avoid sin and to get through life and to help to guide them with light. It's not a flashlight. It's a damn multi-tool. It's like a Swiss army knife, you know, but they'll use the weapon to hit somebody upside the head with. They'll use it to make themselves feel good and feel like they're forgiven for their personal sins. They'll use it to show that they're better than somebody else because of their own personal religious beliefs you know all it is is something that they use for negativity most people at least most christians from what i've personally seen do not use the bible for what it was intended to be used for and i'm not going to get into all the negative things that the bible says and talk about the whole you know the bible promoting slavery and what it says about homosexuals and how homosexuals 
need to be killed and stuff like that i'm not going to get into all those different things that the bible says because that's not what this video is about but as far as people who claim to be christians a lot of those people who are harassing milan christopher are probably professing christians and that's not christ-like behavior for you to be running around harassing this man on the internet because it's not going to make him go straight in fact it might even make him gayer <laughs> if anybody could be any gayer than they are no offense <laughs> but <laughs> on some real shit like like i said i don't personally believe in this stuff but at the end of the day i'm not going to go looking for people to go talk shit to because if you think that that at the end of the day you don't even want him to turn straight you just want him to suffer because he happens to be gay because you hate him that much and that's sick you might think he's sick but you're way way worse than whatever you think about him you were not even 10 times worse you were infinitely worse than whatever you think this man is you're sick in your fucking head there's there's no reason to go hunt people down and go bother them and try to ruin their day because you hate your life you know love yourself pray for you worry about you do you because there's millions of gay people in the world and you bothering him harassing him will never make him straight just for the record that's not the way that things work just a little bit of advice man i, I just i think it's really crazy that anybody would have to defend themselves or he would ever think he has to act a certain way to impress you like i said once again i don't believe in the homosexual stuff but at the end of the day, you know, we all do things that are wrong, that are incorrect. So if you think that you're you, if you think that you're going to get to heaven by harassing him, I'm pretty sure if there is a heaven, your God is going to kick you in the forehead right down the hell. But this is all my opinion. As far as him using the whole F bomb thing, all it is is backlash from all of this pressure and all this stress that he has to deal with just people just saying all sorts of unruly things to him you know and i made a video about it already the fact that he's have been having to defend himself recently against these attacks and it's like come on guys it's not working i just heard that him and milan rather he is milan shit what i'm talking i mean miles their names are too damn close to each other i heard that him and miles the dude that looks like will smith are back together back together possibly for forever <laughs> and us saying negative things to them about their relationship will not do anything but just waste our breath so work on fixing your life and whatever your damn problems are instead of creating more but remember this is all my opinion let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot dot com for more just remember folks sometime when people fly off the handle it's because of everything coming at them at one time and that's just that was just his reaction okay guys so don't go saying that he's a homophobe now i'm pretty sure he's not wink wink <laughs> meat magazine